Hi guys, this is Chris Inglesu and welcome back to another edition of my personal video blog. Um, it's been a while, I haven't really had much chance in the last few months to jump on and do another video, but uh, at the moment I've got a little bit of time so I thought, you know, I'm going to get on here and try to discuss uh, something which has been I suppose I suppose bothering me a little bit um, especially in recent months now I've been in the aquarium hobby for whew, it's been quite a while now 30, 30 plus years since I was a young boy um, and I've always been um, you know Pro aquarium, shall we say? Um, and I, you know, don't get me wrong. I, I still am um, very much in favour of fish keeping and um, aquariums. Uh, there, there's so much amazing stuff being done now as well. So um, at this time, it's an exciting time for aquariums and, and aquarium design in general especially the, the design aspect. That being said, um, I've in recent months, uh, maybe longer, maybe maybe a year or so, I've done quite a bit of traveling and seen quite a lot of different aquarium stores and they, as any fish keeper or aquarist will know um, they vary in their quality and sometimes it can be a, an absolutely jaw-dropping in a good way experience to walk into an aquarium uh, we're lucky in the UK to have uh, a handful I would say of really good quality aquarium stores run by real enthusiasts uh, but on the other hand, it can sometimes be, uh, to me, a saddening experience. And recently, I've had a number of these saddening experiences, shall we say, and it's really, it started to evoke a lot of questions in my mind about what, what are we doing in the aquarium industry currently um, and, and what I mean by that is should things carry on as they are or should things be reevaluated or reconsidered should we look at how things are done um, and reconsider perhaps uh, some aspects of the aquarium hobby uh, the aquarium trade, especially. Um, and just explore how things could be improved, I think. Uh, for a number of years, whether through this uh, video blog or previous years where I've spoken at events, or even just online, um, I've been a, a strong advocate for ethical, excuse me, ethical fish keeping, um, which kind of, in, in a world where technology is becoming very exciting in the aquarium hobby and uh, creativity and design is taking off in, a, in an amazing way, um, sometimes the fish uh, are a little bit forgotten and my view and I think many of you would agree um, I mean if you don't agree feel free by all means to let me know in the comments what you think um, but many of you would agree I think that they the fish should be the forefront the focus and I think 
with my recent experiences going into a number of different um, aquarium stores across the country and actually even out of the country um, it's just made me sort of think I suppose the best way for me to say it is I'm, I look at the many hundreds and thousands of fish per store that I walk into and I ask myself how many of these fish are going to survive long term uh, the number in my mind isn't always great then I ask myself okay of those ones that do survive for maybe a number of years a few years bearing in mind that some aquarium fish come into the hobby are and are actually from seasonal env uh, environments where they may not last more than a year um, on the whole or, or on average shall we say um, I then say, well, of those fish, how many of them are going to live a good quality of life, as in more than adequate? And again, I, I question. Um, and as you continue to keep asking questions, I find myself saying, well, wow, I think the percentage of fishes from the aquarium trade, um, or, or from your average aquarium store, that go on to experience fulfilling lives um, is probably very small. Again, some of these terms are um, quite subjective. So you have to, I suppose it is more responsible to deliver the term rather than fulfilling perhaps um, uh, yeah, it, I mean guys it, it's not easy for me to find the word uh, drop a comment if you can help me on this because I, I think what I'm trying to say is the amount of fish from your average aquarium store that is taken care of, lives in uh, the right water parameters, lives with tank mates that are suitable and that don't cause unnecessary stress, bearing in mind they're all enclosed in a small space together usually. Um, and then you're talking about uh, feeding, you know, of, of good nutrition, um, and you know all of these things for their lifetime li live a lifetime that is reasonable for that species um, I think I've, I, I, I question really how many what is the percentage and maybe there's somebody out there that has data on this maybe it's um, I think uh, OATA, I think it's the Ornamental Aquatic Trade Association, perhaps you guys have some data on this sort of thing, um, or, or any of the other organisations, please feel free to get involved in the conversation. I really think that it's time for us to look at the ethics of fish keeping and how we can improve in that area. Now, my my first thought over the last few years has been why I, I remember some years ago a discussion coming up about somebody opening uh, a biotope only aquarium store so rather than sending uh, selling uh, any aquarium and any fish that the customer um, chooses they sell biotopes from specific regions of the world and you buy the setup including the fish species that live in that region of the world so imagine you walk into an aquarium showroom and you have a, 
a small stream of the Congo River somewhere with those species there, those plants, or everything biotope correct, and you can buy that setup. Or perhaps some estuarine environment from another river somewhere else, or uh, whatever it might be. Could be a mangrove setup, could be um, any of the, the wonderful South American uh, array of South American uh, biotope aquariums that we've seen over the years now. And that, that, I mean, that was my first instinct. Oh, maybe that something can be done with biotope aquariums where actually this is a more ethical way to keep fish, uh, a way to increase the likeliness of ensuring that your fish live a happy life, a healthy life. Um, you know, when we keep dogs or hamsters or chickens or whatever you keep, we the focus is always on that species or, or that breed or, or whatever it is that you're keeping no one is it's rare to find people that are more obsessed with the enclosure that they keep the species than they are the species itself and i think in the aquarium hobby this is where it goes a little bit wrong because there are people that are so into the art of aquarium building um, or you know and, and there is an, an amazing artistry to it sometimes um, that's, that it can be easy to just say well you know th this fish would go nice in there let's throw some of those in or this plant would be great or whatever but yeah you wouldn't do the same thing with um, chickens for example if you wanted to <laughs> to house some chickens you would take time and build an amazing enclosure but you'd also take a great deal of time choosing those uh, chickens you want wh whether it's a, a, a breed of chicken or, or the in and then down to the individuals themselves uh, making sure they're good quality and then you take care of those from that point on it's about taking care of those um, those chickens for example making sure that they're they're happy and, and so on and okay that does happen but on the whole I think sometimes you can get a little bit lost um, in all of the technology and the the decor so um, actually even in the parameters sometimes just I mean the technology is amazing to have but following all of the parameters whether it's temperature or co2 or um, nitrogen or whatever you test for so even that alone can be both interesting addictive but also distracting um, we can get, <laughs> get very caught up in those things sometimes and forget that um, things aren't always by the book you know and anyway coming coming back to my main point I think the main message that I'm trying to get out there and trying to discuss in this video is um, are, are aquariums ethical enough? Um, is the aquarium trade ethical enough? And what can be done um, to improve that? Um, I've given one example where we discuss about biotope um, aquarium stores or aquarium showrooms, for example. But maybe there's, um, maybe it could be something slightly different. Maybe it's biotope aquarium sections in, in aquarium stores. Or maybe it's uh, promoting biotope aquariums at events or more competitions for biotopes. Do we need more competitions? There's also uh, ethics around that as well transportation of fish uh, for the sake of you know can you even do a good biotope aquarium that hasn't been established and matured that's another question um, and we start to go into <laughs> other areas of discussion but yeah coming back to it what else could there be and is there more than just biotope aquariums that could help us to become more ethical so for example 
if we sell uh, neon tetras, for example, and we know that they do best in groups. Um, so it is sh should stores agree to some sort of a minimum sale? So, for example, you can only buy neon tetras in a group of four or five or ten or whatever you you know whatever we deem to be the right um, number or minimum number for this species um, is that a good way to improve the ethics it, it can become a little bit controlling sometimes because it's never nice to walk into an aquarium store and have somebody say to you well uh, what aquarium do you have what aquarium uh, you know what other fish do you have and you know what are your parameters and you just feel a little bit inter uh, interrogated um, and you know it can sometimes feel a little bit condescending depending on how you're addressed or who you're talking to and, and um, that can be tough I, I did actually go into one chain store recently um, and realized that they they now uh, can kind of keep you on a system on their computer system where they have your your details and they know your purchases they know your uh, say that you have an aquarium of x size and that you have purchased x or y fish um, and then they can almost have a little profile on you give you the right sort of advice um, that's not a bad way to do things what do you guys think is that intrusive you know because there's some people that like to say well i just want to make my own decisions about this thing and have a freedom of choice but on the whole as an industry could we do more where should it begin should it be legislative at the government level should it be um something that uh, aquarium stores can opt into uh, or a certification scheme or um, a quality assurance uh, star uh, scheme or ho however you describe it if um, if a, a store complies with uh, a certain um, amount of regulations they get a certain level of stars and, and that gives you an idea of how they are uh, operating um, how I hand it over to you guys how can we improve the aquarium industry in terms of ethics in terms of focusing on the fish and keeping them first um, I'll leave it there if you found this video interesting please click the subscribe button press the little bell and you'll get a notification every time uh, I post a video and um, thank you for your participation please do comment let me know your thoughts because uh, it's something that needs um, collective opinions and so you are really really valuable in this process all right thank you and um, I'll look forward to seeing you all on the next one.